Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll teach you how to set up a very simple wheel rig in Blender 2.8 and then how to animate it. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we start, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8, the link is in the description. Okay, so here we have a car with the main body of the car and the wheels separated. So uh, let's set up a basic rig for the uh, wheels. So go to add and then empty, and then add a cube empty. And then click G, then set to grab the empty cube on the set axis, and then click S to uh, scale it down. And then select the car, hold in shift, and then select the empty, and then click Control P to set the car parent to the empty. And now when we select the empty and click G the next to grab it on the x-axis, you can see that we move the car on the x-axis as well. Now hold in shift and select all of the wheels. And then select the empty. And then click Control P to set the wheels parent to the empty as well. And as you can see, when we move the empty on the x-axis, we move the whole car. Okay, so now it's time to set up the rotation itself. So select the wheel and click N to see the transform settings. And as you can see, we're going to rotate it on the y-axis. So right click on the y-axis for the rotation and then click Add Driver. And now we're going to set the rotation of the wheel on the y-axis as a function of the location of the empty on the x-axis. So let's set the expression to 1 times VAR, and then set the empty as the object. And it's already set to the x location. So uh, now when we select the empty and click G then X, you can see that the wheel rotates. But uh, right now it's uh, too slow, so we need to select it again and then edit the uh, driver. And let's try 10 for example, which is way too much, but it's uh, nice to uh, experiment. And as you can see, it moves uh, way too fast. Now, what coefficient value you end up using for the uh, wheel rotation function, i.e. expression, depends on the wheel. So uh, just experiment with different values until you have the right result. As you can see, three is a bit too fast, at least in my opinion. So let's edit the driver once again and uh, try to so, uh, select the wheel and then edit driver. And then I'm going to set the coefficient to two. And then let's select the empty once again, click G then X to grab it on the X axis. And as you can see, it looks a bit better. Okay, so now it's time to add the drivers to the rest of the wheels as well. So select the other wheel, and then right click on the Y rotation, click add driver, and then two times VAR as the expression, and then let's set the empty as the object. And then do the same for the third wheel, right click add driver, two times VAR, and then set the empty as the object. Okay, and then for the last wheel, right click, add driver, two times VAR, and then set the empty as the object. As you can tell, this is a very basic rig because you can only move back and forth, but I plan to do more advanced rigging tutorials in the future for cars and other vehicles. And as you can see, when we move the empty on the x-axis, all of the wheels rotate on the y-axis. So now it's finally time to animate. So uh, Click I to keyframe the location. And then let's go to the last frame. And then let's move the empty on the X axis. And uh, then let's click I to keyframe the new location. And let's go to the first frame and click play. And we have the animation. And that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon, so thank you guys for watching, and subscribe!